Hi everyone. So yeah, this is my Ant-Man costume. If you can hear me through it, thank you. And I'm just going to show you how I make this. Uh, the helmet, motorbike helmet, and just thank you everyone for watching. Uh, stay tuned if you want to see how just to make the whole suit. Uh, this was all done by myself within about two to three days. And I just got inspired by the Ant-Man movie. So thank you everyone for watching. You're all amazing. This is John Head, Let the Geek Speak. And from Mick up the stairs and everyone here at Ireland, here's the Adam or the Ant-Man suit, everyone. Bye. So yeah. Everyone, this is the Ant-Man again. You watched part one and this is part two. So I talked about the suit there in part one, but again, this is all Styflex foam pieces. Uh, stuck onto a red Lycra morph suit which I sewn and glue myself. You can go and check out the Fleisch video and that will show you how I do everything, the process video of how I make my suits and wrap everything in the Lycra material. Uh, it's just a one piece black armor under it, under armor, that is for playing football. My friends have a lot of them and I get those off them. So if you play sports you will know exactly what I'm on about and they are really good for helping you know give any kind of look. Again, like the Daredevil tutorial, these were the Sandico uh, shin pads that I bought off Amazon for $2.99 and I covered up here with, I just covered up the logo with another piece of Styflex and as you can see, the Styflex is this. I explained it in my first video, but this is fabric that is used for Irish dancing costumes, that is Styflex fabric. Uh, it really, it's collars and stuff are made from as well and shirts and that really helps the armor pieces. You can use EVA foam or cardboard. They kind of have a lot or warbler. Warbler is a kind of material which you heat and then that'll help you shape anything. So that could be something to look into. But again, these are just shim pads and I just covered up the Sandico sign with the Styflex foam. I tried to give it the same shape and you'll always try and follow the same shape as whatever you're covering and also cover up the logos everyone because you don't want to get misrepresented. So that was just, they are for the arms as you can see in the pictures. They make brilliant gauntlets or armor pieces for anything, for leg pieces, for, so if you can find any shin pads or your friends have any shin pads that they're going to throw out, that would be brilliant. Again, other shin pads for the gauntlets are these. Now these are my Tim Drake Pratical Sons gauntlets. I'm not going to show anything, but Again, this is just a shim pad, as you can see here. The neck sign used to go here, which I covered up with cardboard. And the side pieces here, as you can see, just to go around the arm here, are cardboard. Wrapped in black material, I made these a long time ago. Elasticated straps in between here, so that when you put it on, it just stretches. So yeah, real. They are my gauntlets, and they, uh, that's, as I always say, the shin pads make brilliant gauntlets, and they make brilliant armor pieces for anything that you want. I just chose these for Ant-Man because they are all black, and they have some metal pieces on it, which make it look mechanical. So yeah, you can check that out on there, and most of my videos that I use, shin pads can come in handy. Again, like these ones, which again, were Nike shin pads, and these are brilliant for arm pieces as well, you know. But this was a Nike shim pad, which the next sign was here, and I just covered that up with a piece of cardboard and two bolts. So that you're not misrepresenting anything, and when you cover up the logo, it'll always look better. Same thing as for the arm pieces here, the shoulder pieces here. They are kids skating knee pads, or bicycle knee pads, safety knee pads, whatever you want to call them. And I glued those to here, and you can see that it's elasticated straps. They saved my life for everything. And I just glued both those together so that you have a knee pad and a shin guard pad. Sometimes the design can go right down onto the foot itself. You can make a one whole leg piece. You don't have to go out and buy these 60 and 80 pound armor pieces, these rad gear pieces, you know, on eBay that they're selling for all this stuff. You can make it. You can just piece it all together, piece by piece. This is one, two, just two pieces, which you can see in the back, I've just, the kids shim pads were they were colored purple and green so i used the elasticated straps to cover them in with black you can see under there there's the green and i just used those to cover it and that can really help you can see they're glued there so that's just for your leg and armor pieces everyone if you want to use that it's a very good technique and i use that for my Ant-Man, as you can see 
But that is my Ant-Man so far. Anything else, I just hope I help and you'll see me in the Ant-Man here soon. Uh, thanks for watching and here's me in the Ant-Man. Bye. <laughs> Hi everyone, uh, so you just saw me explaining there my whole Ant-Man costume, you can hear me through it, but yeah, this is all of my Ant-Man costume, uh, again this is just the thing filters, this is what I made the eyepiece out of, I didn't go traditional with the whole Ant-Man look, motorbike helmet, the Stiflex patterns here, you can see, uh, the lights that I took apart, the headphones that I cut in half and all the light pieces here you can just see. This was all from one light that I took apart and cut in half and the sunglasses for antenna. So everyone and the Stiflex you can see is a red morph suit here and I have just glued all my armour pieces to it. And this is a black undersuit under armour. The shim pads are football shim pads which I have covered up the logo here. The gauntlets, these are again shim pads that I've just fitted for my arm. You can see there, it's ripping. Not everything is, always has to be so professional. The belts are luggage holders, which I did not explain, and I have my little pin particles here. You can see, ah, the camera. So, yeah, everyone, uh, the leg gauntlets are the knee pads, which again are just shim pads. And this is my Ant-Man costume. Motorbike gloves, just for everything. But there is a process video out there as me making the helmet on this suit. Let's to get all a good look at it. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope this helped in your Ant-Man endeavours. And again, always be watching, always just keep designing and keep your imagination. We're here to create, not to hate. And thank you so from me, Mick Upstairs, everyone here at Ireland and at the Geek Speak. <laughs> thank you and thanks for watching. Here's that one guys. Yeah. This doesn't look right.